let's pick it up at Jive. Oh, um, yeah. Right. Then now, you go over there, you're A&R. Yes. Was, this, this is when you really started the blow. I started as director. Direct, I started as director of A&R. That was my first job, director of A&R. So I got to, you know, so I had my, I was moving like, I feel like I was almost getting to move like Pitts now. Pitts and all the, the A&Rs I was working for and slaving for. They, I, I watched them for so long that I just knew how to move like them. I knew how, I just had a, a certain swag about me. It, it had rubbed off on me. So that's how I, I came in as director and it ended up jumping to VP. And uh, and that's why I, that's, I was my last year as a job. I was vice president of uh, A and R. Okay, who was your first signing over there? T Pain at Jive was my first. So T Pain was legit your first signing. First signing at to Jive Records. My first signing to Aris. My first project to work on. No, I'm talking about at Jive. Yeah, at, at Jive. Jive. My, when I first got there, right after I signed my deal, the first signing, the first thing I brought was T Pain. Okay, let's stop there for a second. What was yeah. it about T Pain? that attracted you to him? Uh, it was just his records. I didn't even I didn't even know what he looked like yet. I, I was in Miami. Uh, JD had me working on something in Miami. I went to Miami. I was working on Bone Crush. He had me doing Bone Crushers. Uh, uh, I was A&R for Bone Crushers. And so JD gave me that project. And I was in Miami just chilling, uh, about to get ready to go meet with some producers. And this guy, TJ's DJ, saw me and he's like, my boy, he's he like, uh, he was like, you ain't you, you, you Memphis hits, you that kid from Memphis that blah 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 went and did all this stuff. And he's like, yo, people told me to give you this uh CD right here. And I was like, he's like, if you don't like it, don't ever call me again. But people told me to give it to you. And I was like, all right, I'll I'll take it. So I'm in this at this time, I'm in limos. I'm like, I really used to be tossing nigga CDs out the window. Like, I'd I got this little thing, like I'm giving you three minutes, nigga. You got you probably ain't even got three minutes with me. I'm like, I hear the first what nope. So I'm like just tossing out the window. Now all of a sudden I put this one in and the driver puts it in and I'm like, and the first thing I heard was I'm sprung. I'm sprung, how she get me? And then this heavy bass and I'm like, she got me doing the dishes. I'm like, what in the world? So I'm like, bro, play, what, what is that? Take that CD out and tell me what's on the front of it. <laughs> he's like, <laughs> he's like, he's like, T-Pain. He's reading it to me. I was like, give it to me. And so he gave it to me and T-Pain. I'm like, this the dude that gave me the CD at the, at the little restaurant right now. Told me don't call him. I called him. I was like, bro, I'm calling you, bro. Who is this, bro? <laughs> so I'm just to the rest of the CD. And I was like, what? He's like, yes, that's T-Pain. He's in Tallahassee. He was like, I would love for you to come. See. I was like, tell me when. So I called Karen. I was like, Yo. I mean, I called um, Barry. I told him, it's a guy in, 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 in Tallahassee I want to go see. His name T-Pain. I want to go see him. I get to T I get to Tallahassee and uh, I walk up and T-Pain is in the front of the house. And I was like, I was like, yo, I'm here to see T-Pain. I'm trying to find T-Pain. And the, the guy that's on this music right here. And he's like, uh, I'm T-Pain. Oh, like, ho hold on. T t at that point, you still hadn't seen him? I ain't seen him yet. No, I was going Crazy. to see him. I, had, I pulled up on this dirt road, this uh, dirt road in Tallahassee with all these cars in the in the yard and dirt. And I was like, so I walk up to the house and he outside smoking a cigarette. And I was just like, yo, I'm, I'm looking for T-Pain. I came, um, you know, he's like, I'm T-Pain. I was like, no, I was like the guy that's, that's singing these songs. <laughs> so that nigga like, he like, boy, I'm telling you, I'm that's me. And I was like, what? And he's like, who are you? I was like, Memphis. I can't. The, he's like the A and R we've been talking to that's coming to see me. I was like, yeah. He's like, you look like me. And I was like, <laughs> wait a minute. So we both look like we didn't look like. He's like, you look like a dark skin, black ass Nelly. He does. So he, that's what he told me. He's like, you look like a black ass Nelly. <laughs> And I was like, okay. I was like, you don't look like I thought you was gonna look. And so we just start talking, and here comes Boo, Boo, uh, Boo, Akon's brother, uh, Boo Thane. And he's like, uh, and I'm sitting up here like, what, what, are you, what's going on? And he's like, he's like, what you doing here? I'm like, what you doing here? So he's like, we, we just, we at the house at the same time. So that's when I get on the phone with Akon. Akon tells me he's like, oh, that's my brother, that's my little bro, Memphis. He's like, you know, I was trying to sign Akon, and Akon was like, I'm already signed, but I appreciate you trying to find me. <laughs> This is doing locked up when I was I was on a I was on a little college tour and I heard locked up and I was trying to find the guy on the CD that was singing locked up and I found it's Akon and that's what he tells me he's like no nah, I already got a deal he's like I'm already with Rifkin he's like don't worry about me he's like but the fact that you're looking for me like that he's like I need that kind of love you know he's like but we are gonna do business one day end up finding with the T Pain thing he's like Memphis that's me he's like I, I want you to sign him we told you we was gonna get money together but I, he's like let me sign him first to eight to to um, convict and then you sign him the job. So I did that. I, I, I stalled out. Akon told me, okay, I'm done. Now you go. 
And then I brought T-Pain a job and I gave T-Pain his first major deal at Job Records. Okay, so so yeah. I always wanted to know, cause I thought that um, T-Pain had music out with Convict before you signed him to, to Job. No, we did that deal simultaneously, yeah. Got you. And that's because Akon called me and said, a quick call. He's like, man, I know you, I know you could go sign him right now, but give me one, give me, I'm almost, I'm in a deal, I'm in the talks with him about doing. He's like, you really want to sign this guy? I was like, man, I'm gonna sign him today. What, what? He was like, all right, let me do this first, my nigga. I was like, all right, go get it done. And now he's convict. Okay, now convict. Now let's go to job. So that's how I did convict job. Yeah. Okay, got you. Yo, let me ask you. you, you T Pain was doing all that auto tune. That didn't scare you away early. Nah, it made me love it. He 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 was scared of it. I was like, what, you, what you mean? He was scared of it. He was like, uh, he like when I when he first played it to me in the, in the in the crib and everybody, all his brothers was sitting around me and he was playing music and I was like, so you you you, you did the beat too? And he's like, yeah. And he was like, saying he's like that little thing on my voice. I just uh. I was like, nigga, I'm here for the thing on your voice, nigga. And he's like, that's that's just for me to tune my voice, tune my vocals, but I'm gonna take that off when I get a deal. I'm gonna just take all that stuff off and just sing, cause I can sing for real. And I was like, I can tell you can sing for real, but I came here for that sound that you got on the on your rec on the on the vocals. Like, don't take that off. That's what I'm here for. He's like, what? You like that? And I was like, nigga, what? Don't take that off, bro. I was like, people are gonna be copying this. I told him, I was like, people are gonna copy this. Watch what I tell you. And he had moments where he was like, man, I need to take this off, man. I was just like, Bro, keep it, bro. And we had those conversations. I used to go buy pain sounds. I used, Cause I had, cause in the beginning, I was with the one with the money and pain was now I got money and pain don't have money. So I was like, I'm I'm buying him stuff. I'm buying him everything. I'm taking him everywhere. I'm cutting his hair. I'm like telling him, like, put these shades on. You gotta put shades on. Like you, you I'm like, watch, you're gonna be like on some, you know, you're gonna be a superstar, nigga. The hoes gonna be on you. And he's like, bro, I'm married, bro. I don't want no hoes. I don't want none of that. I was like, you still gotta walk in the room a certain way, bro. You still gotta walk in the room a certain way. And that's, I kind of like help, you kind of, I kind of just, grew, you know, A&R shit. I groomed him. I kind of, you know, he had the, um, he had, his hair was, you know, the, the, the duck bills or whatever they, I forgot what they call them, but what do they call the, the, the dreads with the, uh, the, the, the I have no the, idea. Yeah, you whatever. See yeah. Yeah. So anyway, so yeah, I, I just was cutting them different. I, I got my, I got my cousins. I put my cousins on them. I put all these people on them that's getting styled together. And that's how we, we came in and, and, and He's T Pain today. He done done great things. We just we just start. We just streamed a billion uh, streams on Spotify. Like I looked at it the other day, and all these songs that from the beginning were nothing, and now he has streamed a billion. A billion has a billion streams on Spotify between all these little records that we was just putting out. You know, so I'm like, I'm I'm super proud of that. You know, so, that's amazing, so, man. That, yeah. That's that's so amazing. And I'm gonna tell you another thing. Um, people. People wouldn't have took the risk that you took. Granted, hearing I'm Sprung, that record's a hit. But yeah. we know it now because it became a hit. Exactly. So exactly. I, I don't know what it was for you, obviously, for you listening to it the first time in the backseat of, of that limo. Because I can feel it. Like, yeah. Yo, I it's a hit. It. But you know, I knew I had, I had girls that had me like that, you know, got me doing <laughs> Anything she won't for some, anything she won't for some kisses. Like I was like, what? I, I, girls don't have me like this, so I felt it. But the way he was delivering it was so different that I was like, bro, I'm trying to be here for bringing stuff that people never heard in a way. Like, because Mr. Porter told me he's like, nothing is new under the sun. He's like, nothing is really new. It's the way you deliver it. The way you the way you find out a different way to deliver something. It's the, still still the same love spirit. It's still the same love vibe. It's still the same hate vibe. It's still the same money vibe. Just how do you decide to, how did, how did you interpret it? And that's, and that's how, you know, music will go on forever because it's always being recreated. The delivery is always being recreated, you know? What's up guys? Thanks for sticking with me to the end of the video. Truly appreciate you. If you like anything you heard here today, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. And if you know anybody that can benefit from this message, feel free to share. Peace and love. Make every move a power move. And I'll catch you all on the next video.